नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते ऑल वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम so we have two sharings today didi today we have uh, sharing by usha kumari didi and her husband manilal ji ah yes so uh, we have uh, today uh, dr usha kumari yes didi is a dean uh, corporate relations uh, mar baselius college of engineering and technology tiruvannadapuram she is a retired faculty from college of engineering tiruvannadapuram and uh, she is working in this mar baselius college uh since then since the retirement she attended her introductory uhvfdp in june 2020 and she is a very active volunteer in the kerala chapter and in the national level she has been sharing content in her institution and for different groups um in several social gatherings in the uh, alumni meeting of uh, this college of engineering tiruvannadapuram and many other meetings she has been sharing it then uh, she is also involved in this newsletter editing of usv manilal vijay uh, is her husband he is currently a project director in the cooperative academy of professional education tiruvannadapuram uh, he attended his introductory fdp of usv in april 2021 and he is also uh, involved in this newsletter editing so we both of them attended the uhv2 workshop at mar basilius college i remember they are sharing there also together so with this brief introduction i welcome shadidi and manlal priya for sharing today thank you. thank you thank you uh good morning sir mala didi and all the those persons sunil ji I am very happy to be here to become part of this UHV family. Uh, I am Usha Kumari. I was retired from government. Can you hear, Sunil ji? Yes, yes, we can hear. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, I was retired from government engineering college Trivandrum as a professor and head of the department of electrical engineering in May 2019, and now I am working as professor and dean. corporate relations at mar baselius college of engineering trivandrum kerala actually uh, i started my journey in uhv after serving as margadarshan that is mentor of different engineering colleges in kerala aict invited me to attend the universal human values program in june 2020 and attended the five day online workshop and after that for getting more and more clarity about the proposals mentioned in the workshop i have attended the first state introductory workshop six times after that i have been continuously attending the weekly meetings monthly meetings in january 2021 i got the link for joining the morning session and from 14th january 2021 onwards i am continuously attending the morning session without any break i think one or two days only it is helping me a lot to improve my competence and getting more and more clarity about the proposals on 27th april 2021 exercise 1 was started by ganesh ji actually it was a wonderful experience in my life and this program influenced my life too much i have no words to express my gratitude to their resource persons all the resource persons and co explorers and also i have attended refresher part 1 part 2 3 days conference held at bangalore for usp holders during that time i have met sharma didi umesh ji and uh, other resource persons and so many holders also and usp 2 face to face workshop conducted our own institution in august 2022 also attended the three days all india meeting held at pune and during that time also i met sharma didi rajul ji etc i have volunteered some of the fdps also this is the fifth time i am sharing my experience in the morning session my present vision of uh, 
all a present vision of my life my aspiration is to have happiness and prosperity to be in continuous and it is clear now i have been improving my own competence also helping others to improve their competence my state before attending the usp program uh, if, if i am telling this one it is very clear uh, to okay, clarity about the shift in me happened to me i was not having clarity about my aspiration previously reaction level was very high and no control over my imagination i was not able to see the imaginations going on in my own self because i was not aware of that most of the time i was influenced by the behavior of the other person or events happened outside and concerned about my body also due to this my happiness depends on outside factors and i was seeking happiness from outside also there was no clarity about the need of the self and need of the body no clarity about reaction and response previously i was doubting the intention of the other person and finding fault in others there were lot of conflict and friction with the family members and colleagues also during that time i experienced sometimes happiness sometimes unhappiness excitement depression etc and so on i understand that the major issue was the immediate or instant reaction and the ego and a uh, shift in uh, my understanding about the following one human being this is the sixth sixth time i am attending the morning session i am continuing my journey in self exploration most of the time i am able to aware of myself and referring my own natural acceptance and able to maintain harmony in my own self now whatever may be the situation outside like behavior of the other person change in climatic condition or maybe a change in health condition i am able to maintain a stable condition in my own self another important observation is my daily expenses drastically reduced and sharing with the needy people with the feeling of prosperity in my own self also i feel that contemplation part is enabled in me that is participation in larger order with the more understanding level i can see that i am only a very tiny unit in nature and my presence is negligible transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness is ensured through human education samskar by ensuring right understanding and right feeling thought in the self that is self is central to human existence self is a seer doer enjoyer or experiencer body is used as an instrument of the self only the transaction between self and body is only in the form of information and is decided by the self now i have more clarity about the needs of the self that and that is the body the need of the self can be fulfilled with the right understanding and right feeling activity of the self is imagination that is desire thought and expectation most of my imaginations are in align with the natural acceptance so my current samskar is far better than previous or i can say influence of preconditioning or assumption and sensation is reduced and thereby the response of the self is based on knowing or right understanding and not based on assuming that's about human being next is nature now i am able to observe each and every unit in nature previously i was not observing the nature fully and its importance and have the clarity that the effect of one unit on another they are mutually enriching and mutually fulfilling while watching the leaf of each plant how much difference we can see in it also in the flowers color and shape i think how it is possible i don't know the answer maybe due to the presence of space in nature i am able to see the four orders in nature with its natural characteristics innateness and coexistence among the four orders there is harmony in all orders except the human order in human order there is harmony in the body also previously i was not able to observe the nature keenly but after going through the usp i am fully aware of each and every unit in nature and their interconnectedness the existence 
Existence is coexistence and it is also due to the presence of space. I feel that I exist in this nature because of the presence of space. Space is everywhere and all pervading, no activity in space. But in units, there is activity due to the presence of space. Here I have to explore more and more. And human conduct. By improving my own competence through right understanding and right feeling in my own self, I, I can understand that most of my imaginations are in align with the natural acceptance. So my current sanskar is far better than previous and I can the influence of preconditioning and sensation is reduced. So the response of the self is based on knowing or right understanding, but not based on assuming. I am slowly changing from animal consciousness level to human consciousness. That's about uh, human conduct. And about few points about exercise. Understanding emerging out of exercise one and two and the number of steps I am able to observe my own self. Exercise 1. For achieving basic human aspiration, for ensuring continuous happiness, I need to develop three things in the self. Right understanding in the self, right feeling and right thought in the self, and develop the competence for right living in the self in the world outside. Seeing the self by the self. Step number 1. To be aware. I have to observe my imagination at every moment without reaction. Now I am able to observe most of the time something is like a habit. Previously, it was mm -hmm. previously it was difficult to observe the feelings going on in me. Now I am able to check my feeling whether it is in align with the natural acceptance or not. It is in, when it is in align with the natural acceptance, leading to happiness in me. If it is not in align with the natural acceptance. I drop that feeling. I am deciding the feeling in me. I am 100% responsible for my feeling in me. The other person or situation outside may act as a trigger only. Previously, I thought that the other human being or situations outside is responsible for my unhappiness. I had complaints against them, doubt on intention of others, and I wanted them to change. I was expressing my observations based on my feelings. Now I am able to un understand the intention and competence part clearly, the distrust part. Previously, a lot of issue between me and the family members. And uh, what is the basis on which I decide my feeling and thought? If it is based on right understanding, then it is in line with the natural acceptance. If it is based on assumption or preconditioning, then there is contradiction, opposition, anger, or irritation. Which feelings are naturally acceptable? You know, that feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence that is naturally acceptable. Opposition, disharmony, struggle or conflict that is not naturally acceptable. I am able to observe the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence most of the time. I am able to observe my feelings in me. And I have, here I have to improve my competence level by reducing the reaction level and not finding fault in others. Before attending the morning exercise there were a lot of conflicts within the family after attending the ftp's uh, exercises i have changed a lot i started observing each and every moment without reaction due to this i was able to see the changes in others also i understand that the major issue was the uh, immediate reaction and the ego in me initially it was very difficult to maintain relationships Slowly it is changed, even though the other person is reacting, now I only respond because I know that there is some disturbance or opposition in the other person. That's why the other person is reacting. Now it is all. I am happy and calm now. I am the deciding person what type of feeling I need, a feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition, anger or conflict. Now the environment is entirely different. In a split second, I can change. Uh, my feeling in my own self. Now there is no suffering or sacrifice or adjustment with my spouse and children, but only feeling of relationship with my spouse. I am also able to understand that he is also similar to me with the, some, with the same purpose program potential, but the difference is only at the level of competence. 
there is complementarity at the level of competence. That is, they make a program for improving the competence of both of them without disturbing the behavior of the other person, and it is done unconditionally. Now, most of the time, I'm a listener, I feel calm, I uh, think that life is light, improving my self-confidence. I am doing most of the household jobs in my home without any complaint, with the support of my husband. He is also attending the morning session in between. <laughs> I have seen remarkable changes in him also. His reaction level is decreased a lot, as well as ego is also reduced. And about exercise two, uh, step number one, I am able to observe the self and body are distinct realities, and the transaction between the self and body are in the form of only information. The decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely by the self and to interact with the body as an in required. Here I use the body as an instrument only. Then uh, observing the distance between the self and body, I am not the sensation, I am not in the sensation, but uh, there is a distance between me and body, self and body. Then associating meaning to the sensation, there are three external events, three types, behavior of the other human being, physiochemical things, effect on right. my body. There are two ways we can read the information from the body. Based on knowing, it, it is based on right understanding and right feeling or just assuming. Here also, the decision maker is only me and the body acts according to my instruction. I react when my samskar is based on assumption. I respond when my samskar is based on knowing. Here I have to work more and more to purify my samskar. Sometimes I am influenced. And space part, I am not able to see the space. Okay. I know my destination clearly. I need complete freedom from all units in space. But I am related to all and I am responsible towards all. I have to work more and more to reach the destination. I believe that it is my responsibility to maintain harmony within me. Also, I have to improve my competence and helps to improve the competence in others unconditionally and without disturbing the behavior of the other person. I have taken the initiative to start working on USB. Initially, it was very difficult to maintain harmony within me. I am continuously improving my consciousness level or removing darkness from my own self or removing the ego from my own self. Based on how much time we are able to refer our own natural acceptance, we will get genuine answers from our own self. Each and every moment I am referring my natural acceptance or taking guidance from my innate faculty. My source of happiness is innate and within me without depending on outside matters. As far as happiness is concerned, self is more important than body. And changes for the last four months. For the last four months, my participation is large larger order is improved and my understanding level is improved a lot. I have been sharing this content among students, teachers, technical staff, security and cleaning staff in our institution and I am able to see the changes in them also. In addition to that, I have been sharing this content to public with a different background. Based on that, more number of Jews have invited me for the session after understanding the importance of it and I am concentrating on regional level and corporate section also. More than two hours a day, I devote for developing my own understanding, right feeling, right thought in my own self. Whenever I will get time, I am exploring within my own self. For social responsibility also, I have been spending time by sharing this content to different groups of people in public and extended family members also, participating in the activities of newsletter. This is uh, about my journey. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the resource persons, especially Sanadi, D. Kumar, Vaya, Sunilji, Ganesh, etc. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Shadidi. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Good morning, Sunji. Good morning, Karmala ji. Then, good morning to us, all my participants. I am Manilal, residing in Trivandrum. I'm um, retired from Kerala Government Service as an executive engineer in May 2015. After that, I worked for one and a half years as a palliative care volunteer focusing on the rehabilitation of the bedridden patients. The, since then, I have been working as the project director at Cooperative Academy of Professional Education, Kerala, which is under the Cooperative Department of Government of Kerala. My institution is running 14 educational institutions, out of which nine are self-financing engineering colleges. My journey in USV started by why? Dr. Usha Kumari is practicing ESV since June 2020 and getting inspired by her, I have decided to attend the USP 1, the five-day online workshop in April 2021. I attended USP 2 face-to-face -face workshop conducted at the MBCET Tuvada in September 2022. I have been attending the morning sessions since November 2022. It is helping me a lot to improve my competence and getting more clarity about the proposals. Occasionally, I attended USP sharing programs collected by Y, by my wife, for various groups. My state before attending the USP program. I was having no clarity about my aspiration. My reaction level was very high and having no control over my imagination. Most of the time, I was influenced by the behavior of the other person and external factors. I was concerned about my body. Due to this, my happiness was depending on outside factors and I was seeking happiness from outside. There was no clarity about the needs of self and body, and no clarity about the reaction and the response. Previously, I was doubting the intention of the other person and found, found fault in others. There were conflicts and friction with family members and colleagues. During that time, Happiness was not continuous. Majority of the issues was by instant reaction and my ego. I understand it now. As a human being, this is the second time I am attending the morning session and a continuing self exploration. My wife and me are attending this session simultaneously. It is easy to practice and implement the essence in our daily life. This has brought harmony in our life and able to maintain harmony with my colleagues and others by improving the right understanding and the right feeling in my own self. I understand that body is used as an instrument as an instrument for of self. I have more clarity about the needs of the self and body. My current sanskar is better than the previous one. Uh, going to the nature and existence, I can observe that the importance of each unit in nature. I can see the four orders in nature with its natural characteristics and coexistence. Among the four orders, there is harmony in all orders except the human order. We are growing vegetables for the last 20 years. Only the only about that because of we love nature. I can see the existence is co existence. I feel that I exist in this nature because of the 
പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് സ്പേസ് അബൌട്ട് കോണ്ടാക്ട് ഐ ബി ഇംപ്രൂവിങ് മൈ ഓൺ കോണ്ടാക്ട് ത്രൂ സെൽഫ് എക്സ്പ്ലോറേഷൻ മൈ കറണ്ട് സംസ്കാർ ഈസ് ബെറ്റർ ദാൻ ദി പ്രീവിയസ് വൺ ഓർ ഐ ക്യാൻ സേ ദി ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രീ കണ്ടീഷനിങ് ആൻഡ് സെൻസേഷൻ ഈസ് റിഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ആം സ്ലോലി ചേഞ്ച് ഫ്രം അനിമൽ കോൺഷ്യസ്നെസ് ടു ഹ്യൂമൻ കോൺഷ്യസ്നെസ് ലെവൽ we take away from uh, exercises 1 and 2 i understand that for achieving basic human aspirations and ensuring continuous happiness i need to develop right understanding in the self right feeling and right thought in the self develop competence for right living in the self with the world outside seeing the self by this is step to achieve the above to be aware i have to observe my imagination at every moment i am aware and that i have a lot to improve i feel that my reaction level is decreased considerably i am sure that my level of stress has been reduced with right understanding i, I am able to maintain my health through self regulation with the right understanding and right feeling i am able to maintain good relationship with my family members colleagues and my subordination i am able to observe a feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence i am aware that i have to improve a lot regarding the exercise 2 i can see that observing the body and the interaction between the self and the body by the self thus i am able to observe that the self and the body are two distinct realities and the communication between self and body is in the form of information exchange of information between self and body are entirely through the self i use the body as an instrument observing the distance between the self and body i can see that i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation and there is distance between the self and the body in associating meaning to the sensation it is through the behavior of other human beings psycho chemical things effect on my body etc during most of the time i am able to maintain harmony in my own self with right understanding and right feeling i think i have to work more for achieving my aspiration i am a diabetic patient for the last 25 years and was taking insulin thrice a day for the last 2 years through lifestyle correction and exercise i reduced my weight from 67 to 55 and maintaining my weight and it is done through and uh, then under the control with the support of a doctor now i am able to maintain it through self regulation my commitment for contribution towards developing a human society i am sharing the essence of human values with my colleagues and subordinates and encourage them to attend the program i have started to share the content with my classmates of 1974 batch with the help of my wife i also started a program to share the content with the present faculty of the college where we have studied in 1974 the principal of the college has also agreed to attend the online program starting on 21st of august through online mode i used to attend the sessions handled by 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 my wife at various places and groups we are sharing sessions as a service to the society without any fee or other expenses i am contributing a little bit in editing the newsletter of usv that's all thank you yeah thank you so much uh, ushadi the 
and mandal bhaiya for this great family sharing so very nice to see that you are contributing a lot uh, to the society uh, and this is actually helping many of us also to uh, contribute and motivate many of us to contribute uh, much better than what we are doing so your volunteership is very much appreciated and you are uh, sharing with us very much worth listening now um, thank you thank you thank you Yeah, let me request uh, Shamla Didi to give her comments and remarks regarding this family sharing. Shamla Didi, over to you. Yes, Namaste Usha Ji and Namaste Manila Ji. Namaste. 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 Very nice to hear both of you today. Many things came up from these sharings that both of you did today. One thing that I thought um, is very. Uh, useful as a family when both people are involved in this work in that transformation within uh, it becomes your uh, it's an opportunity to sort of progress and help one another improve the competence because you are both listening to the same things you are both trying to explore within and doing you know improving your competence um on your own as well as together so uh, like usha ji mentioned the whole environment in the house becomes very different there is a lot more harmony it is more peaceful and things whatever we were trying to do earlier it seems almost effortless now because there is no more or at least much less conflict than before so that was one thing the other thing that i was thinking was that you have exemplified so nicely that even after a certain age when we retire from certain posts mm. we can still do so many things that are useful for ourselves and for the society so it becomes yeah. a really good example for um people who finish their jobs lot of times people feel after the job now what mm. and so they are uh, kind of groping here and there and trying to you know again you go back to sensation and those kind of things and the health gets health of the body also gets disturbed and yes go through so many things so this is one very strong example of how in the community so many people who feel that they are no longer useful to society can do so much good for society and be an inspiration for so many people so that was another thing that i was thinking and of course the fact that you have attended it so many times obviously <laughs> shows your commitment and <laughs> i think i mentioned this last time also it is quite amazing that <laughs> went through so many times and obviously it is true that when we are attending a certain workshop at a particular time sometimes our attention drifts so we may not be able to pay attention to each and every proposal properly so yes. when we do the same thing again and again yes. we are able to pay attention to different parts uh so that we get the whole picture in a much better way yeah. and that that is why i think many uh, people who do the voluntary work because they come in contact with the content again and again and again uh, it is but natural that you would start mm -hmm. reflecting on it mm -hmm. and so it starts yeah. showing in your behavior so very very wonderful sharing both of you manilal ji it was okay. wonderful to hear that you know you could see the change in your wife and got inspired by her to um take on this task and to start listening together and uh, both of you have shared the changes that you have been able to observe in yourself and in the other and in your workplace so very wonderful all the very best to you and whichever way you can participate and volunteer uh, it is very welcome i know that you are both volunteering so it is very wonderful all the very best to you 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू दीदी थैंक यू सो मच ओके थैंक यू दीदी फॉर दैट रिमार्क्स व्हिच इज हेल्पिंग टू द ऑल टीम फॉर श्योर